All right. Um, good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to this sharpen um, seminar. Better to work sharpening seminar. Okay. Um, my name is Ruby Komolani, and um, this is actually the sharpen team from all five countries. Uh, we have a people meeting in Czech Republic, and this is actually our first team picture. And you will see some of them sitting up there in the moment, but during the dinner time, please feel free to speak to our HR and the specialist uh, coming from the five uh, different regions. All right, um, at first I wasn't sure if everyone in this seminar knows about me. I know some of you have heard my name before, some of you have met me before, and some of you have worked together with me. But I thought it is good I put a slide to show you uh, a little bit about myself. Well, um, the slide says a little bit about me, uh, because you can see I am originally from Malaysia, 35 degrees every day on average, coming here, anything between minus 35 to plus 30 degrees. And, um, well, I like this Kansales Boku, the national, um, what you call that, costume, and I decided that I would like to have one for myself, and I have learned as much as I could about Finnish culture, and I'm still learning. Okay, it is a learning for me every day. Um, the picture also shows um, the two countries. You can see very warm to very cold. And you can see pictures of people working with me. Um, maybe he looks familiar. He was our ex student, but currently in Kaino And uh, my students were working with him on some research projects, so we were presenting um, our results to him. And that is something I enjoyed a lot, working with companies here sharing my experiences through that I learned a lot as well from them and similarly I helped the students to um, learn about Finland, about the businesses here and simultaneously develop their competencies. Um, before coming to Finland, I was not a teacher before, so I worked in banks, I was also in a legal firm before and so therefore I hope my experiences from the past especially in terms of people management, um, could be useful um, to help small, medium-sized companies here to develop that um, little competencies needed to help your team to build on, to become uh, more um, productive and uh, more efficient. So um, I have managed team as small as three people and direct reports as large as 45 and indirect reports across 16 different countries as large as several countries. So therefore, I hope my practical experiences can help you um, and um, other SMEs here to get enough students to develop something useful for you. Okay, um, just a very quick um, slides about the journey of shop. We started off actually that idea in 2013 with um, a small little chat between me and the German professor who came here to Kayani to visit um, the International Week, the second one. And during that time we were just brainstorming and chatting over coffee and this idea came and said, hey, you know, we have so many SMEs in our region and um, they are really good SMEs but they are a little bit, of, there is this little bit of um, gap that um, maybe uh, they could have a bit more help from us, the institution, to learn about people management. And so that idea became a bit bigger and we started working with a local company here to kind of test run. We piloted that two times over two years with the company. And finally we thought we can gather a few more partners to explore if we can apply money from the Erasmus Plus. And so in 2016, finally, after a huge amount of hard work, 
we managed to get the money from our uh, from the national agency from Czech Republic. So Czech Republic University here, um, Technical University Libera is our so-called overall project leader. Okay, so you can speak to them later about the project. The project will end next. Um, 31st August, not next, but next year, 31st August 2019. But our journey continues. This is just the beginning. Alright, so you can see um, five partner regions and five different countries. And um, we are quite different in that sense, although we are all located in the Europe. Okay, um, we have actually university which are coming more from the research background and we have three universities of applied sciences. We come from different parts of country, but we are quite away from the main cities. Okay? And so we are fairly diverse in terms of partnership, but we have one really strong common identity. As you can see, we created our own brand, Sharpen. Okay? And you saw the abbreviation, what it stands for. And our main purpose really is to help the many SMEs in our region to become more competitive, to become better, to be able to work with their people a lot more um, effectively. So that we have one identity, we focus on the similar kind of HR and issues in our region, and also we have one same goal or two same goals that we would like to help our SMEs to become So the project objective is basically quite simple in just four bullet points. That first, we want to help ourselves and our students to understand SMEs better because they are more than 90% of our economy. They are actually one of the most important economical engines behind our society. So therefore, it is important for our future talents, like those students sitting behind, to know that, hey, I'm not just having this opportunity to work for a huge company like Skoda or um, some other big organizations, but really it is possible to consider this kind of environment as a place uh, for employment and therefore by understanding them more, we hope they can also become more interested in those kind of environment and see their values in those kind of places. And therefore, when they are able to have a position in this kind of organization, they can be good people managers. Because in small organizations, people are the one of the most important, if not the most important, people children. Okay? So therefore we think it's important for them to see more about these SMEs, their environment, and also to help them to put what they learn into practice because this part of the project later will explain that they are not just learning the theoretical part of things but they are actually putting what they learn in theory to practice. And um, finally, one most important aim we want to have is to create not just students with HR and knowledge of our SMEs, we also want to create practical knowledge that will help SMEs to understand this area better. Because many SMEs are technically maybe really good. Example, uh, someone may have started a company because he has a good idea in some products or to uh, have the competency to make programs or something else or create games. But maybe they do not have so much opportunity to study about people management during their, um, their studies in school or in their bachelor degree or somewhere else. So we thought maybe these kind of practical tools making simple can help them. Because there are many tools actually obviously in, um, in uh, literally you can find anywhere in the internet or somewhere, but maybe they are a lot more complex and a lot more difficult um, and they're more suitable for larger organizations. So the project aims to look at SMEs problem and try to find simple solutions for them. Okay, and that is one of the important aims. And finally, we have five partner regions. We think it is a great idea to share practices. Okay, so we can learn from each other. Maybe not all solutions are suitable for each other, but at least we can get some idea and modify it and make it like our own and apply to our own environment. So here there are three important outputs. 
Okay, but um, just just look at the data. So first, it is obviously to help students to learn, so there must be learning materials. Then we would like to create an electronic handbook or some so-called e-handbook in the format that can be easily accessible and um, downloadable by our SMEs and share it internally with all their employees. And finally, we have also this collaborative research where we collect the information. Uh, we kind of hear the voices of SMEs in our region and we try to um, uh, try to understand what are the main challenges so that we can help them a bit better. So uh, Ms. Dula Rajendel will present um, the findings from our research in February 2018. So what exactly it means then for SMEs? There's so many words, so I just want to put something concrete, okay? So what does it mean in concrete actions? So typically in this kind of one cycle here, we have first let the students study HR and about the, the theories and the concepts, but then um, focusing on the SME environment. Then we have this kind of intensive study week, so you can see our students from four other partner universities uh, visiting us in Kayani for one week so that they can learn through interactive learnings with people from different cultures because managing people today also involves managing diversity and managing cultural differences. Today, it doesn't matter you're in Kayani or somewhere else, this is a global world. You may have suppliers from another country, you may have customers from another country, you may have partners from another country, and so on and so forth. So as long as you are, example, even writing an email, to someone outside Finland, you have not seen him before, you have not spoken to him before, that is itself globalization. So therefore, I think it's important, and we think as a team, it's important that students have this kind of skills that they can deal with this kind of um, new trends and develop together in this kind of learning environment. And lastly, step three is we will then work with partner SMEs or with local SMEs in our respective regions who is interested to work together with us, collaborate with us and uh, let us um, into their organization to develop solutions together. And the solutions then will be generalized hopefully for other SMEs um, references. So what we will deliver at the end is summarizing key practices in five different regions and then create practical case studies to show you how they have done it and if they can do it, you can. So that is pretty much what you want to do. And all the case studies, the company names will not be visible. So it will be like a story, telling you a story, how they have done it, and telling you how they have succeeded in it. And hopefully that will give you some ideas how to apply it to your own organization.